Carissa, thank you so much for joining me here today. I want to ask you a little bit about your chess upbringing. So I started when I was in elementary school. So I was seven when I first um, started playing tournament chess, but I first was interested in it when I was six. Um, There's like a flyer for the school chess club and it met like before school in the mornings and I really wanted to, to go and play. Uh, but the problem was like they didn't have any instructors there. It was just like to go and play chess with each other. I had no idea how the pieces moved, nothing. Um, and so my parents were just like, ah, it's okay, don't join the club. And I was like, okay. Um, and then like the year after, I was like, mom, dad, can I join chess club? And then they were like, oh, this is something that, you know, maybe she's like really interested in. And so my dad, first taught himself how to play and like how pieces move and stuff and then taught me um and we used to play all the time when i was a kid just like on the floor in the living room and uh, i was always trying super hard to beat him never really could until one day a few months later um but yeah and since we played so much eventually he got like really tired of it and he's like one night he's just like I'm just gonna take you to like a actual chess club and that was where I played my first tournament. Was there something specific or a specific person that influenced you most or you looked up to uh, the most as you're growing up? Yeah, so definitely my dad was up there. We spent so many hours just like playing chess together. Um, you know, I was always like really fighting and struggling to beat him, which I think is probably where like that spirit comes from for me. Um, another big influence was when I was starting out, um, I played in one club, Wachusett Chess Club. And I remember, so it met like every Wednesday night and it would be like one game a night. It would be like one of those uh, month long tournaments sort of situations. And everyone there was super nice. Um, I was the only kid there, but after all my games, um, they'd always offer to like analyze it with me. We would go over all the moves and like, all the club members would be there and like offering suggestions and helping me improve my chess and they've also been like a great source of support. Nice. So was there something specific that attracted you to the game? I think the first time I was like really into chess was when I was at my school chess club and I was playing um, a friend and this friend was like probably the smartest person I knew at the time. She still is like super smart, maybe still the smartest person I know. Um, and we were playing chess and I beat her like three times in a row. To be fair, we weren't really playing with um, actual chess rules. It was like this idea that if you put the king in check and the other person didn't notice, then you just take the king and win. So it doesn't really count, but I beat her three times in a row and I was like, whoa, maybe this is something that I'm like kind of good at. (laughs) I see. And since then you went to college, you're combining (laughs) chess and college and recently you became world um, junior vice champion for girls. how were you able to balance your schoolwork and chess and coming back to chess? I know you had this short period of time where you didn't play as much. Yeah, so um, my school is actually on the quarter system, which is super convenient because it doesn't start until really late September, almost October, really. Um, And so I wasn't missing um, too many, too much of uh, my academic work when sort of playing these tournaments, but this is actually the first tournament where I'll be like um, missing full weeks of school along with uh, playing chess. So we'll see how that goes. (laughs) This is the first time, so I can't ask you (laughs) how you're balancing everything, but hopefully you did. You did a good job in planning everything so that you don't have exams during the event. Yeah, no exams during, uh, just homework and stuff like that. And uh, last question for you, Carissa. I was wondering if uh, you are doing any other ex- extracurricular activities in your university besides, you know, working on chess and going to school. Nope. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing interesting. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm really looking forward <laughs> to seeing you back on the uh, over the board. I know you haven't played last year, so can't wait. I can't wait to see um, how how you're gonna do. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you.